Hi, my name is Dave Ogburn. I race a Spec Racer Ford Gen 3. Today we're going to be talking about alignment on your race car. Alignment is important to, to maximize and optimize the mechanical grip that you're getting from your race car and how you use the tire. All right, so now that we have the nose off of this Spec Racer, we can see the, the front suspension a little bit better. So from an alignment point of view, your main parameters are going to be bump steer, caster, camber, and then toe. So typically you'll set it up in that order because they affect each other. So if you set the toe first and then go back and do caster, camber, you've changed your toe setting. So with bump steer, basically as the suspension travels up and down as you're going around the track, um, the toe change. So it's basically the steering effect of that suspension travel. Um, so you can imagine that as you're going through a corner, if your left rear is steering to the left, that's going to affect how the car is going to behave in the corner. So after that, it would be caster. Caster is in the side view, your, your steering axis. So it can affect weight jacking, but it also gives some camber when you're cornering um, as you're steering um, into the corner. Uh, so set that next, then camber. So camber is how the tires are leaned in, um, looking uh, uh, from the front. So you can see this, um, the front of the spec racer has a decent amount of camber, so over four degrees. And as you're rolling the car, uh, uh, cornering and, and, and rolling the suspension, it basically can affect you know, how your contact patch um, is engaged in the middle of the corner. So if you're camber limited, what you'll see is that you're typically loading the outside shoulder of the tire too much. And if you're checking tire temps, you'll see it too hot on the outside. Typically, you want about a 20 degree spread when you come in, if you check them in the pits, if you have sensors on the car, it's a little bit different, but um, you'll probably want a hotter on the inside as you're going down the straightaway that heats up. Um, and then about a 20 degree spread, so maybe 20 degrees lower on the outside shoulder. Um, if you're too hot on the center, then that can be more tire pressure related. And then toe, toe is gonna be um, looking from the top view, basically statically how much the, the tires are pointed in or pointed out. Um, typically you'll want a little bit of toe in at the rear, that can help stability, a little bit of toe out in the front, that can help you um, get some good steering response into the corner. Um, or you can go no toe all around to maximize your straight line speed depending on how much horsepower you have. All right, so as we talked about with your bump steer, your caster, camber, toe, um, these are tools that you can use to basically use your tire more efficiently and maximize the mechanical grip of your race car. Um, as with anything you're doing on your car, it's important to have a good consistent measurement. So you do want a flat surface or a level scale pad to set your car up on and to use proper tools. An alignment rack or, or tow bars, whatever works best for your race car, it's gonna be very different, whether it's a formula car, a sports racer, or a production car. But it's important to get good measurements. And then the best way is gonna to be to test on your race car and try to maximize the mechanical grip and use those tools to tune the car.